Okay, welcome to this PHP Basics tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be talking about setting up PHP, uh, so sort of optimizing the configuration file a little bit as well. Um, basically, uh, when you install PHP as part of any web server system or whatever, uh, it comes with a default configuration file. Um, this configuration file is designed to be um, to work on sort of a, um, a system, a low spec system. Um, so basically we can turn up some of the resources and allow ourselves a bit more a few more things to play with. Um, also there are some things that we can do to tweak it a little bit, make everything look nicer uh, but I'll get to those as we go through the file. Um, uh, basically I'm using a, I'm going to show you this on a Windows Virtual Machine as I used in the debugging part 2 um, tutorial um, I'm doing this just because this PHP any file uh, hasn't been customized at all. Like I think you probably noticed in my default in my uh, Linux distribution, um, I had a lot of custom stuff in my PHP.ini file. So I just want to use this default file because that will be what you have, hopefully, or at least something close to that. Okay, so I've got this XAMPP. Uh, basically, what basically at the point uh, I'm at the point at the moment where I've just run through the XAMPP installation. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically, mm, after you've installed whatever server package you're going to use, uh, look for your PHP.ini file, and it should look a bit like the one I'm about to show you. For XAMPP, um, the PHP.ini file is at this location by default. Anyway, oh, I've just moved something. Delete that. Um, Okay, um, uh, but by default it's at this location, C colon backward slash xamp 2 bs slash php. And then the file we want is php.ini, not php5, php.ini, not php5.ini. Um, this is here is just the php binary, um, and then these folders at the top, I believe, contain the DLLs to some extensions, by the looks of it they do. Okay, so what we're going to do is open up this php.ini file and get working through it. Uh, I already have a copy open here, and you saw in my browser I have this error showing. Uh, the reason I've got that showing is because we are going to customize the way that displays slightly, so I want to be able to demonstrate it in here. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get started, really. Okay, so the first thing you see in this php.ini file is this long about php.ini section which explains the syntax you can use in the file. Um, it's probably quite something, you know, it's probably something quite useful to read through, but uh, it's not something we want to leave in the file all the time because we want this to be as clean as possible. So I'm just going to delete that entire section. Um, I'm going to do the same for about this file because, again, something you should read, but some, not something that needs to be in the file all the time. Um, same for quick reference because this is not really something you need at all to be honest um, it's basically it's a big list of the default values of the development and production versions of this file that come with PHP um, for XAMPP I don't think these are supplied so um, yeah oh the default value by the way is the value that will be chosen will be used if um, if your PHP or any file doesn't specify a value for this so yeah Okay, so this whole block I'm just going to remove as well because useful maybe, but we don't need that, and we can find it out from php.in.net. Uh, okay, uh, now we have um, the start of the options, so we are going to start sort of going through and customizing them. You know, it's quite a long file, so I'm just going to scroll through this and see how far we get. Um, we don't need to go all the way to the end because the end is sort of extension configuration. Uh, so, name for user defined php.ini file, not something you need to worry about. Uh, because that is something for sort of server admins. Uh, this is all user defined php.ini file stuff, so we could also delete this section, thinking about it. And start with language options. Engine equals on, that uh, enables the PHP. Short open tag, I am going to set to off, I already have set to off. Uh, the short open tag is, well, you can go on php.net and look it up, but basically you can start your PHP block with that instead of that. Um, 
I'm going to set up my development server to be the sort of worst case scenario. Um, so everything off that might be off, if that makes sense. Don't rely on any settings because if you put your script on a server, this setting might be set to off, and if you're relying on it, your script won't work. ASP style tags it explains it here. You can open your PHP block with this and this. I'm going to leave those off by default. Precision, don't need to worry about that. Uh, that should just be on by default. Output buffering, set that to off by default uh, because you can enable it with the ob start function. So there's no need to have it on all the time. Uh, you can scroll down a bit further. Have that off. You can read these descriptions. Uh, that's the default. I'll explain when we're changing something. So we're just going to leave the default for this. Scroll down, leave that off. Don't need that one. Don't need this one. Um, yeah, that should be on. Safe mode is an important one. Make sure that's off. Anything relating to safe mode, that should be off. This is the default as well, by the way, so don't need to worry about this too much, but make sure that they are set to off if you've used an old php.ini file. Uh, as long as safe mode up here is off, then the safe mode starting configuration options won't have any effect. Disabled functions, disable functions, you can use this to disable some functions. So if you set that to substring, for example, when someone tried to call substring on your server, uh, they would get a, this function has been disabled for security reasons error message. So we're going to leave that blank because we don't want to disable anything. We want everything available. Um, ignore user report. Again, we can set that at runtime. So we're going to leave that off. Uh, same thing for these. Miscellaneous. Expose PHP. Uh, basically, that um, if you have that on, it can add sort of a server signature. Um, for a production server, a server that's actually hosting a website, it's a good idea to good idea to hide your PHP version because people can just look up the change log and see security bug fixed, uh, and they can just exploit that bug on your server. So for a production, have that off, but we're going to leave the default on here. Okay, now we're getting to the more interesting things: uh, resource limits. Uh, the maximum execution time is the longest time a script can execute for. Um, for command line scripts, this defaults to zero, and you can't actually change it, as it says here. Um, so we're, for this, we're going to set this to 600, which is a long time, but we're only we're doing that because um, we might want to do something a bit sort of fun that takes a lot of time um, that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do. And you don't want to run into errors for that, so we're just going for that. Max input time, we're also going to set that to 600. Again, just large. <laughs> Um, the maximum amount of memory PHP can consume, the memory limit um, seems to default to 128 megabytes for XAMPP. For Linux systems it seems to be around 16 megabytes, but I will set this to 512 megabytes. Um, just again, if in case we want to just do something a bit, like not, sort of something fun basically, like a silly script, do something big and interesting, sort of as a test of what PHP can do. We don't want to be running into out of memory errors, so that's why we set that so high. Error handling and logging. I covered this in my um, debugging part two tutorial, so go and watch that for an explanation of it. We're going to set it to eat all, as I already have. Display errors should be on because we want to display errors. Display startup errors should be on, but you won't see those. Log errors off because that's a very slow thing to do. Log errors max length has no effect because we have it off. Ignore repeated errors, scan no effect, again no effect, again uh, we want that on default, so skip over that. Track errors off, because that's a slow thing again, default, skip over that. HTML errors, big one. We want to turn this off, because we want to specify our own HTML to wrap around the error string in a moment. So we just keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I'm going to uncomment this error prepend prepend string and also the error append string. I'm going to replace this default value with a value of our own which is going to be span um, style equals something and we're going to, in the other one we are going to close the span Oops. and then do two line breaks. What this will do is before any error output from PHP it will say do this, echo this basically and after it will echo that. So there you go. 
And what we are going to do in here is set the font family to mono space because it'll look cool. Um, and we're going to set the color to a sort of red. For some reason, I can't do a hash. Why is that? It's done a backslash. Okay, that's peculiar. Linux. Uh, get it problem. Is there a hash somewhere that I could copy? There was one. Let's do... Okay, there's a slightly serious problem. <laughs> yeah, let's just undo all this. Lots, lots of undoing. Let's just copy that. And then let's redo everything. Put everything back, like so. We can paste it. There we go, now we've got a hash. Uh, so we're going to set the colour to hash seven seven zero 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 which is all nice dark red um, and then we're just going to do font weight bold which make the font bold and then we're going to do font size 14 pixels which is sort of a nice big size that's easy to read um, this just makes the errors look a bit nicer you saw it in my Linux version they're red and big and bold the BR tag is because you want errors to display on a new line Okay, uh, log errors, ignore this, data handling, uh, that should be as it is by default. Uh, actually, that should be that. I don't know why it's got there. You don't want the amp bit. That was the HTML entity. You want just the raw value. Uh, separator, just ignore that. Variable order, that's fine. Register global should definitely be off. Uh, long arrays, off arg c arg v on uh, ideally that should be off yep let's turn that off we don't want that keep scrolling that's fine post max size we're going to set that to 512 it controls the um, file upload size magic quotes gpc this should be off make sure you set this one to off and the same for magic quotes runtime uh, magic quotes sybase off Auto prepend files we're gonna ignore. Default MIME type is fine. Keep scrolling. This is fine. Doc root fine. User duh, ignore. Extension path fine. Enable DL. That should be off because it's a very slow function. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. File upload should be on. Upload temp dir should be well. That's probably fine. Upload max size. We're gonna set that to 512 meg. Just a sort of nice big size in case you want to upload anything big and play with it. Um, allow URL F open should be on. Allow URL include should be off. Uh, these are all the defaults. Socket timeout. Let's set that to. Let's set that to 600, just in case we ever want to do anything with sockets and our internet connection is a bit terrible. Uh, that's basically the time that PHP will, will wait to try and get a URL connection. And now we're on to extensions, which is pretty much as far as we're going to go. Um, you might want to enable these actually. Uh, the curl extension you will probably need, so you can uncomment that. Uh, the same for, let's see, where is it? Mm, MSSQL, you won't need that. Uh, MySQI, MySQLI, oh, we have that. Uh, let's see, where is it, where is it? There's loads of extensions, you can uh, look up what all these do and sort of play with them if you like. P spell, that's a good one, let's have that on. Schmop. A fun one, let's have that. Uh, tidy, quite a fun one, let's have that as well. Peckle extensions. Um, I'm, I'm looking for um, IMAP. That should be in here somewhere. I missed it. I dab. <laughs> uh, IMAP is for working with IMAP email servers, which we'll need if you want. Oh, it's already enabled. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's keep going. Not much time left, but yeah, that's actually it. Uh, time zone, you should obviously set to your time zone. Um, you can enable this E accelerator if you want. It's sort of a PHP, it caches your PHP file once they've been compiled, so it'll make it a bit quicker. A bit pointless for local, but. Oh, PHP RAR, that might be fun. Let's have that one on. Um, yeah, that's actually it. The rest is things you don't really need to look at. So let's save this file. And we're going to restart our server. We're going to start it again. Fail ever start. Come on. 
Come on, five seconds. Quick, quick, quick. There we go, it started. If I quickly reload the page at the end, you see we get this new formatted error message. I'm um, going to have to stop here, but there you go. That's how to configure PHP.